So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services that we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yerushiahu the prophet. We find then these understandings from the 61st chapter where then the prophet stated the spring feast, autumn feast, and the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries. And then obviously the Gentiles included in the plan because the prophet did mention regarding even the heathen would observe the works of the Creator and would then obviously be part of it. Not as tabernacling, but obviously as then servants of the great Creator. So then during this time where then the nations are then realizing the holy cities are truly returning and the first holy city of this time of the restoration period after 09 then starts at the land of Cush where precisely then the prophet gave the understanding regarding then the city being then active on the land of Cush where you find then in the holy language an understanding regarding the word in Hebrew Ushkini meaning a word of cipher word because you have to understand the context and the content and during the time of Yerushiahu where then not even the spring feast was then completed it was then centuries ahead yet but the great prophet not only spoke of the spring feast, but then the autumn feast, and then the returning of the holy cities, where then not even the spring feast was completed. So then they thought Yerushiahu was crazy, but he was not. So then, during this time, where then the Messiah, he is preparing himself for the returning of his position in the Holy of Holies, he obviously is reminding us of what he saw during the time of Yohanan in the first holy city. These days where then leaders of the world they are coming together, we must ask ourselves why then are these people joining up and making decisions? We must be very clear from the tabernacle's perspective and then understand why these people, for instance, from Great Britain, from the U.S., and then from the Soviet Union, you find then other leaders coming and trying to talk some of these problems through and the such. But we have not realized yet the freighters of the earth truly should be involved. So then, since these people are coming together and resolving problems, where then those problems should be resolved by only the first, second, and third components of this time of the restoration period, namely then China, the dragon, the east, the northern kingdom, and then the southern kingdom. Those should make decisions, and those should then take care of the problems of the world, as far as what should be done regarding tabernacling, what should be done then regarding the trade and then the security of the world. Tabernacling because they must understand that there is a new leadership in the world. Second, because the military must be done in a certain way so it protects then those people doing trade with China. And then third, understanding the trade of the end directly related with the freighters of the earth. So then we begin to ponder why then Mr. Putin and Cameron they are visiting? Why then these are visiting with the U.S. president for? Either they understand the instructions, but thus far they don't understand the instructions. The person who should be making those decisions is then is Mr. Putin from the Northern Kingdom. He already gave his aspect regarding Syria. The existing government remains as it is, and then later maybe election. Why are they coming together and talking about it? It's starting then becoming then retarded. 
Let's understand. The Messiah said, while he was in the Holy of Holies, he saw then the freighters of the earth, then in charge of the events of the world, as far as the authority of making those events then vivid and taking place, he saw the freighters of the earth. Then Daniel the prophet, he saw the kingdom of the north and the south directly relating with each other. Then you find the east in the Apocrypha where Daniel mentioned then the dragon. So dragon is then direct to trade, trade and then making deals around the world. As far as the organizational part of it and protection, Mr. Putin must make those decisions. And then Mr. Zuma, obviously, he is regarding then a person related with raw materials and then scrutinizing and filtering those Hebrews over there in the land of Cush to make sure they are acting truthful. Because if they are not truthful, they should be kicked out of there. There is a reason why the Africans are fierce. Because this time they must scrutinize the scripture and make sure the tabernacle is up there done properly. Because the Creator said of His own people, they are scoundrels. Those are the words of the Creator. He said they are contrary people. They are scoundrels. So it requires then those people who are then serious regarding tabernacling, make sure those people they get filtered. Otherwise, the same junk. They're going to try to come up with all oh, third temple. Ah, because then Ezekiel and then John or Yohanan said they would have a temple at the end. Does not exist a temple. The Ishmaelites are not going to let any temple to be built. Don't be ridiculous. Only the tabernacling of the desert is going to be in the top of the mountain at some point. As far as the decisions of the world regarding protection, Mr. Putin must make those decisions. The rest of it is in the hands of the freighters. So why are these people coming together for? Maybe Mr. Putin does not know how to make decisions. As far as my map states the kingdom of the north, states of the previous condition of the kingdom of the north in a certain way and then later becomes then higher than the first. There is only a kingdom of the north, the Soviet Union. Maybe he does not know how to make decisions. Now he's going to mix himself up or he wants maybe to share his power where the creator never mentioned because you don't find west over there. You don't find any other countries. You find Kingdom of the North. So they are making decisions regarding Syria. What was then the decision of the Northern Kingdom? Syria must remain with the government as it is. Should they give arms to rebels? No. The situation is decided. The Syrian government, the legal government, must receive more arms and then crush the rebels and then rebuild the country. This is what should be done. And the rest of us, we should be working our own economies. There comes the dragon. The system of the Chinese is already uploaded. A bit of more time, then the system is going to become available and people are going to download on their computers. How are they going to make the exchange of their own monetary system? They have only paper money. Where is the virtual? How do you figure the virtual monetary system of each country? Did not Daniel said that at the end of time then knowledge would increase from a tradesperson? Knowledge would increase. He was speaking of the trade of the end. Computerized form of trade system. Well, you have to have a virtual monetary system so then a thousand years of the city would not scandalize the new system. How do you get it? You then make the average price of the Chinese you want and make a unit out of it. So each country in the world must come up with their own virtual monetary unit. 
make available for the people then start buying in their own countries when the then Chinese system becomes available then the exchange becomes easier but then the leaders they come together talking this junk oh because what it should be done should give arms and because there was a soldier eating up pieces of human flesh and this such is it going to bring the person back what do you find on instructions you find the northern kingdom making decisions the eastern kingdom is trade the southern kingdom then is raw materials and filtering there are no more decisions to be made Israel has no more power Israel only has a relationship with the northern part of Africa because of Sudan land of Kush that's the only link there is no more reason for the existence of Israel read the instructions what does it say what then the prophet Yishchirahu said what did he say did he not say that in the land of Kush would they have then tabernacling so that's the only link Israel then northern Sudan and period The Northern Kingdom makes the decision what should be done with the rest. As far as his military involvement, the Northern Kingdom makes the decisions. Then the rest of it, they have to return to their countries and then rebuild. Either they understand instructions or they are retarded. Thus far, the leaders are retarded. They don't understand instructions. Maybe because they were given scandalized scripture. Maybe that's why. And then they're wasting government's time, government's money for no reason. The Creator already said after 09 starts the period of the restoration of the holy cities, and He included the Gentiles. Northern Kingdom organizes, the Eastern Kingdom is trade, making deals around the world. The South is raw materials and then they filter through. Make sure tabernacle is done properly on the land of Kush. Israel has no more saying in anything. They have only a direct link with Northern Sudan. That's it. There's no more reason for the existence of Israel other than read the instructions. Now, people are watching, you know, the workers, some of them, like myself, for instance, in a lot of them, in a lot of us without jobs, and then watching these leaders going around, shaking hands, and, you know, screwing around. That's what they are doing, they are screwing around. As if the decision of Syria was so important, it's not important. What was the decision of the Northern Kingdom? The existing system of Syria remains as it is. Give more arms to the Syrian government and crush the rebels. Time to rebuild. As far as our own president going around, flying around, playing around and, you know, going around the nations and, you know, lifting his hands and then for what reason? There is no reason for it. Is he the leader of the time of the end? No. You don't find the West. What has Daniel said? Kingdom of the North, Kingdom of the South. Then a couple of chapters later he said Kingdom of the East. Wasting our money, wasting time, wasting resources for no reason. The system of the dragon incorporates a couple of systems. The system of market of the money, paper money, backed up by gold, and then the virtual backed up by production. And both of them are intertwined. 
so as the other nations should be doing the same because the system of the dragon consists of these couple of them it's freaking ridiculous these people coming together for no reason what are they going to do each country they have to face the freighters of their own countries you know the CEOs of the freighters such as for instance FedEx, UPS, DHS those presidents must face those people. Those presidents are going to shut up, sit down and ask the freighters, what do you want to have done? And they're going to say, we want this to get done. So you grab the list and get to work. If you don't think so, let's watch then what you are reading. What are the instructions that you have? Where do you get your understanding from? These presidents, they're going wall around, wall around, wall around, and then when the system comes, then the freighters are going to be absolutely angry because the governments have not prepared themselves and then they're going to sit down and listen to the freighters.